Hello. <gasps> Jesus. Is that your mom? Hello everyone and welcome back. It was a long time ago, but welcome to a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. And no, milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. So let's get started. Write down your name. Clem. I walk down the road to the store and rehearse my speech. It's been so long since I've been out on the house that I completely forgot what words to say when entering the store. I'm going to the store. Who are you talking to? Shut up and go already. Who are you talking to? I'm imagining as if I were a character in a game. What if it helps me gather my thoughts? What game? Well, you know. There are games where you can see the character's thoughts right on the screen, you know? So I thought if someone is reading my mind, I need to be very focused so I don't blur out too much. <laughs> I take a deep breath of air. Hello, can I? Dot 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 dot? Crap, I forgot. Nineteenth attempt, and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. So, once again. Hello, can I get? Wow, that's a whole word more. Thank you, I'm trying my best. I think this time the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Who knows? Hello, can I? Ah, uh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Uh, don't worry. Okay. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now. What? My right foot is frozen in the air. Uh, how much? 50 steps on the pavement and 51 in the grass. You have to undo the previous steps. Hehe. <laughs> how do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on. You are so stupid. Okay, this one. We will not be mean to our character. I... I don't remember. I'm ready to burst into tears. Ah, here we go again. So. Step 1. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Hmm. Wait a minute. What do you mean, step 1? What then? But it's already the 52nd! Or wait, I'm going backwards, so then it's the 15th. It doesn't add up. Okay, okay. Step 50. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Could you rephrase it just a little bit? You can just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. Please, don't like, don't talk like that. You are hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour. Uh, you will be very, very guilty if you don't buy milk. Damn, really? Well, are you ready? Hell yeah! I carefully move my foot, backward, foot backwards, looking carefully into the dense grass. As I enter the store, I turn to the first person I see. Hello, can I? Uh oh. <laughs> Anxiety. Oh, excuse me, what? Oh, excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? <laughs> oh. Uh, do I 
press... Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. You shouldn't have done that. He's obviously not going to change his lines. He ran the risk of ending up in an endless loop. Excuse me, what? Oh. 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 What? Oh. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know what I'm terrified by the letter O? <laughs> Uh, what's so scary about it? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. I can show you explaining what to do. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Hell no! Nah. This is really an O. Something like that. Oh Lord. So I will just continue to ignore his question. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. I gather all my will into a fist. Oh? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. My interlocutor. Interlocutor? Shook and crawled away. You just repeated after him. And it worked. Do it more often. Wait. I said he crawled away. Did he did he really crawl away? I mean I didn't even look in his direction. What exactly did you say that? Just now. Personally, I didn't hear it. You are just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. Indeed. I'm standing by the shelves. On the rack there are bags of milk. Hmm. We both stand and the milk lies? Or maybe. Hey hey, slow down. Do you even remember why you are here? To buy milk. So buy it. Right here? What do you expect me to say? Um, I guess something like, not here. Uh, not here, take the bag and go to the cash register. Uh, you are getting on my, okay, this one. I guess the first sentence. And you, as if out of spite, didn't pause before the second one. You want to rob me of my little victories? I sigh and reach out to take the milk, or rather, the bag with the milk inside, or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag, or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk, or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag, or rather, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside. Come on, come on. 15 minutes before the store closes, hurry up. I remembered what these games are called. Visual novels. And by the way, the numbers are written there in full. Oh lord, that's a long... The... Wa-ba-ba? And by the way, the numbers are written there in full, with letters. Are visual novels worse than books, but there the authors are not lazy, so don't get lazy either. Wait, I thought only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore. So, watch your mouth, hehe. <laughs> Ahem. Anyway, you heard me. Hurry up, or you will get in. Uh, get it at home again. Okay. I'm on my way. Uh, hello? C can I get some milk, please? Oh lord. 
you have it. Uh, I picture anxiety like this. Ah, uh, give. I put a weight uh, bag on the register. Of course, not just the bag, but the milk too. Hi, can I can I have it, please? No. Please? No. But please, Mum will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk. No. But why not? Give more. But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? Uh. Pay for the milk. Haha, <laughs> really? What would I do without you? I take a crumpled bill out of my pocket and hand it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. Hmm. It took about two days before he nodded that contently and put uh, it in the cash register. Thank you, goodbye. Very nice. I walk down a familiar street past the gas station. A, ga a bag of milk unpleasantly tugs at my hand, reminding me of the days when I was in physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the checkout, so now I am carrying a bag of milk in another bag. Don't think anything of it, I just love the pyramidical structure of verbal constructions. The gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile long bar of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? As if I would tell you. <laughs> but I'm really interested. Well, look. The ratio of water to milk in the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. And yeah, ice cream is not the best unless you want to drink more than eat. Anyway. Anyway, the road from the store to the gas station is a stick, and the road from the gas station to home is ice cream. During today's walk, my body has been uh, to every part of this path. Simple math. I see. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt grains. Petrol stains. Huh. I'm trying to keep my balance, and how do people move over something as uneven as the city plane? Gently, heel, toe, I count in my mind every meter of the path I walk. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, watch out! Ah! I unconsciously take a sharp step to the side. At the same moment, a huge bear <laughs> rushes past me with wild screech. Hey, I'm walking here. I cast a reproachful glance at the swiftly departing giant. Its red eyes, it in turn, look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen! It was a truck. Oh, really? God damn. Although, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their heads? You could have died. Come on, are you saying someone would seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying a bag of milk? Uh, you are sick. The world is a cruel and dangerous place. I'm not in the world you are talking about. Hmm, that's kinda true. Red light. Green light. My journey continues. If you think about it, the road from the store has one interesting property. It adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. When I'm in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn off helpfully. When I feel like crying, 
A cloud appears over me and pours rain, streams that hide my tears. Right now I can feel a cloud slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? Uh, has it ever occurred to you that it's all just in your head? That's not what the manual said at all. Apparently these pills don't work for me either. The pills have nothing to do with it. Please, I just want to get home and go to bed. I really, really am very grateful to you, but please, no more. Uh, alright. You know what? What? Since I am a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading this right now. Uh, it could hurt your recovery. If you say so. I forcefully squeeze my head with my hand and place a thought block. Hmm. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a small bench, the perfect face to uh, cliched visual novels monologues. I move closer, place a noticeably weighted bag of milk next to it, and raise my head to the sky. Hmm. Is that us? Listen. I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I realize that I'm going crazy. The medications are becoming less and less effective, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Really? I must be nothing like the model protagonist at all, huh? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it because now it cost me a lot of effort just to distinguish between letters and words. Hmm. By the way, if you don't mind, I would rather not name my diagnosis. Let at least you be the one who sees me for who I am, even though I made you up. Don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. Ah, How stupid does this all seem? Maybe everyone who has something like this has a player character behind it. Behind them? Hmm. From the very beginning you've been following me reading my delusional thoughts, hearing my silly conversations. I must seem crazy and weird to you. Haha. <laughs> what is it like to see the world through my eyes? Ever since... Uh, something happened, all I see is red. Red blood everywhere. No, don't worry about me. I got used to it a long time ago. Admittedly, I would even forgotten what other colors look like. Come on. <laughs> Aw, sweet, sweet. Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all. After all, I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think that they are themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Promise? Promise. I'm serious. Of course, you couldn't have but ask. Hey, in the end I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later I would have brought it up. So you are really that interested in what happened to me? I just told you, I promise. But, oh, uh, I guess I just had to answer yes. I won't waste time. 
What do you see? Uh blood. Blood. Hello. Anyway, this is my dad. Oh lord. Some of his parts at least. Oh god. We do have a very difficult family. But despite all the problems, I I never would have thought. Oh lord, sorry. I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he jumped out of the window and died. This is my last memory. Then a long gasp. Oh god. Sweet child. Strange. Very strange. Today is the first time I ever been able to buy something in a store without a major incident. Of course, the medicine helped me, however. I think it's more your met merit. I kept thinking, we mustn't screw up in front of the reader. Or, oh my god, what will he think? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going to the store today, but it clearly play paid off. Thank you. By the way, it seems to me that there are some boundaries in our communication. That's how I like it. <laughs> oh, and yet. I've been so sad lately. I've been thinking more and more about what my life have become ever since my dad. Well, you know, day after day, it's the same thing. I tried so many medications that I hardly feel any difference between them anymore. As long as they help keep me on my feet, I'm happy. <laughs> Oh god. But you know what? Today is a special day because I have you. Yes, you have me. <laughs> oh, that was very rude of you. I didn't catch that. Oh, no. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm just advising you to go home. I understand. Well, dear Riddle, shall we go? Indeed, we shall. Hmm. When I get to my floor, I hang over the railing, repeating this action every day like a ritual. I stop being afraid of heights altogether. A few minutes ago, the effect of the medicine finally wore off, so I just enjoy the blissful silence. When I am under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head, mixing with the sound of the word around me. They create a terrible dissonance in my head. I turn around and go to my apartment. Mm. Hello. <gasps> Jesus! Is that your mom? Did you bring the milk? Oh lord. Hi mom. Did you bring the milk? Yes. Yes mom. Did your new medicine help? Yes, mom. Go to bed. Yes, mom. Oh, lord. That's rough. Seeing everyone as monsters. Milk boat. Help me buy milk. Interesting. That was interesting. Maybe we will try another ending. 
tomorrow, then we will be mean to the girl. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe. It always helps the channel. I know I haven't uploaded much recently, but uh, yeah, I I plan on uh, on doing that. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching again. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye bye.